Hey guys, from Locks here, back with our blind playthrough of Arafel. Last time, we... Right, we could not go through the area with the wasps. So we ran around and got, um... You know, basically explored as much more as we could. As much more as we could, is that a thing? I don't, I don't know. Alright, but we're here, which I assume is the archery contest. Point of no return. Are you certain you wish to continue? Proceed. I do appreciate that they're giving you the... They're like, hey, you know, stuff's gonna happen. Are you ready? Are you sure? Um... I mean, I, I guess so. I, at this point, I don't think we can go through the area with the wasps. That would be my guess. It's not like it's locking us out of the previous stuff. So let's... Let's proceed. You there, girl. Gotta help you if you're Leo Lita Kata. Um, kinda. Am I late? Yes, you're late. We were about to start without you. Come with me and take your place. You better be jogging beside me, young lady. Yes, sir. I'll go watch with the others. Good luck, Lita. Okay, thanks. You go stand with the other contestants, young lady. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the 23rd Annual Archery Contest. Oh, applause. We have some new faces this year and returning competitors, including the reigning champion for the last six years, Tareem Weiser. Also from last year, we have Sophie Aminya and Rian Inala. And our new challengers are Lita Lakata and Feral Nalo. The first contestants will be Sophie, Farrell, and Tareem. Take your places. This is the first round. You'll each get just one shot. The contestant who hits closest to the center of the target wins. Archers ready. Judges ready. Where's the target? Archers, loose your arrows on my mark. Loose. Oh, okay, the targets are on the poles. Tareem Vizer has won this round. Abyss, this is unbearable. Armini, how did I let you talk me into this? How long were we expected to sit here? <laughs> Long enough to make a show of it, I suppose. Simeon the Elder insisted we spectate the competition. I admit if this is his idea of defending his village, I find myself skeptical. These people are not soldiers. They're barely even archers aside from this Terran person. Tareem, whoever. If vampires do decide to attack an earth, these people will all be dead or turned before they even realize what happened. Is that a man or a woman? I think it's a man. Lita's up next. I'm so excited. I bet she shoots one of the judges. If she does, you better start thinking of ways to bail her out of Castle Atana's dungeon. Why right, now, the second round is starting. Tareem has won the first round. Newcomer Lita Lakata will face off against last year's runner-up, Rian Anala. Take your places, archers. Archers ready. Judges ready. Archers, loose arrows on my mark. Loose. Lita Lakata has won the round. Oi. That girl is rather skilled herself. I suppose that brings her count of competent defenders up to two. Maybe we'll get attacked during this thing. You'll excuse me if I don't feel particularly reassured, I hope. I sense something strange about that girl. Oh, he's talking. <laughs> you sense something strange about everything. Dare I ask in what capacity? I cannot tell for certain. It is, however, something I've not felt in a very long time. You're not falling in love with her, are you? That is immaterial. He didn't deny it. 
Oh god, it's at least tell me no. No. Well done, Lita, but do not let yourself get overconfident. Stay focused. Okay, Papa. Oh good, he's... So, I mean, he is supportive. That's understandable. I hope he's not still mad. Lita has advanced to the third round to face the defending champion, Tareem Vizur. All right, Lita and Tareem, take your places. You've got a good eye, kid. Oh, thank you. You've got excellent control of your bow for someone your size, too. Uh, let's just get on with this. The second round's rules are different. Contestants will take turns, and each will be given three arrows. Best shot of the three will be the one that's scored. The archer with the arrow closest to the center of the target will win the contest. Tarim appears to be ready, and so do our judges. So loose on my mark, Tarim. Loose. Tarim has hit the direct center of the target. An excellent first shot, but hardly unexpected the reigning champion. Tarim has two shots remaining. Uh, I don't think that will be necessary. That should do it. Astounding. Tarim has voluntarily forfeited his second and third shots. It's like Casey at the bat, kind of. Lita will need to make two perfect shots to win. It'll be tough to beat that girl. You've done well so far, though. Be proud regardless of the outcome. Nice. Thanks. Oh, that was the best shot I've ever seen. I have to make two of them? How in the world am I supposed to do that? Ugh. Yeah, I'm, uh... Sorry about all the yawning. I'm really tired. And reading tends to, uh... Reading just makes me sleepier. I didn't really sleep well last night. All right, well, here goes nothing. All right, Lita, shoot when I tell you. Loose. Huh. Next to his? Lita's shot is several inches off the mark. Oh no, she was so close. If she practiced this morning instead of sleeping off that adventure of hers, yeah, yeah, instead of sleeping off that adventure of hers, perhaps she'd have a chance. Oh, that was awful. If this next one isn't perfect, I can't win. All right, Lita, get ready for your second shot and loose your arrow on my mark. Loose. Is she going to do it this time? Leave shot is again a bit off. Stay calm, Lita. Clear your mind. Be one with your bow. I mean, she's already lost, though, but... Grr, well, at least maybe I can get a tie, but how can I hit the center if his arrow is already there? I mean, you shoot the arrow. That's what Robin Hood does. This is your last shot. Shoot on my mark. The music's changed. <laughs> the music's changed, though, so she's gonna do it. I have to concentrate this time. And Adrian's looking around. But I guess there was thunder or something. Loose. Incredible, Lita's arrow split Tarim's in half. In all my years conducting this contest, I've never seen such a thing. Judges look astonished. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion. I don't think that's how that works. Hmm. It would be a tie. Wow, did, did I really do that? By the goddess girl. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. It's as though the spirit of Arafel itself was channeled through your bow. What the abyss did I just witness? I see now. That girl has an elven artifact of power. That is what I sensed. Please tell me you're joking. No, he's right. By the goddess, she does. Even I felt that. You men in your sensing things. Well, now what? I'd plan on taking a nice hot bath back home after this. 
We can't have some little teenager running around with something like that. The artifact is extremely dangerous. We'll speak with Simeon the Elder again and the girl's father as well. I'm not sure strangers approaching her directly would be the most tactful option. I agree, they're here at the competition. We'll speak to them before they leave. Girl, give me that ring. What was that girl's name? Lita? I don't have a good feeling about this. Lita has received the Archery Contest Grand Prize. 200 coin, coins and an archer stone. It seems I may owe you an apology, perhaps to the both of you. That was an amazing display, Lita. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Papa, and I owe you an apology too. I'm sorry I yelled at you and I'm sorry I made you worry. Apology accepted. I think I do understand where your wanderlust comes from. My brain interpreted that as bloodlust for a second. I'm like, whoa, that's totally different, but yeah. I want you to be more responsible in your behavior, but I cannot blame you for feeling trapped in Aloria. Anyway, I've decided to take you hunting. Really? Really, I'll head up to the hunting range. Meet me there when you're ready. Ah, good afternoon, Simeon. And to you, Edward, your daughter's performance was quite impressive. I'm sure I could speak for all of Valoria when I express my pride in her. That's very kind of you, Elder. Even her mother hadn't expected anything quite like that. Indeed. I was wondering if I might have a word with you about Lita, actually. What has she done this time? Well, it's this business with... Arger. Lita was very brave to face him herself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she broke into someone's home in order to do it and got herself into a very dangerous situation. Yes, I'm sorry for that. She means well, but I cannot seem to get that girl to understand responsibility. It's, uh... It's kind of... I mean, it's kind of a bad thing, right? It's like, how do you, you... You have to be like, well, yes, you shouldn't break the rules, but at the same time, if you hadn't done so, he was a vampire's familiar, so we'd probably all be dead. You know? It's like... That's that's why I've, I've said before, being an adult means you kind of got to get your hands dirty a little bit. You know, you can't you can't be an idealist. But anyway... Pardon me, I was wondering if I might have a word with you about Lita as well. Alright. Alright, I get to go hunting after all. This day isn't turning out so bad, huh? It's about to turn bad. Yeah, it's not, uh, Alita. Did you notice anything kind of weird when you shot that last arrow? Well, I did, but I felt real weird all day. I figured it was just the heat of the moment, you know? Yeah, yeah, probably. No one else noticed anything strange, I guess. Come on, let's go find your dad. I'll help. Yeah, to the hunting range. Quest updated. Skill enhanced charge shot. Huh. The hunt is on. As a reward for my performance in the archery contest, Papa is taking me on my first hunt. As part of this rite of passage, I'll have to track him down in the hunting range north of the stone quarry. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's hunting as in not shooting, but hunting as in, like, tracking. That's that's kind of neat. We'll see what happens with that, but... Uh, skills... It's now a holy charged shot. Potency is... Uh, I don't know what it was before. Probably 30. And let me check out this new... Well, I know we've gotten one before, right? Okay, Stone Archer, used for upgrading skills. The spirit of a great archer lives in here, waiting to bestow their power. We may as well use it now. Oh, that's not the right thing. All right, on the other hand, increase potency by five. First aid. Just all debuffs. That's probably pretty important. So it's not just poison, it's everything. Right, and then you have focus, increases power and defense more, or this. This one seems to be the best one, right? Because not only does it increase the number of arrows. Oh, wait. Increase the number of arrows fired to four, adding seven potency. So it's not necessarily both, although it works out to be that way. So let's do this one. 
All right. Yeah, there you go. Now the next question is, what if there's something else that increases the potency more? Does potency equal more arrows for this? I don't know. Regardless, can we go back in here? Are there, oh, there is something in here. Okay, well, I mean, there's that. Forty-three coins. Oh yeah. Up oh, and we got some uh, some stardust. Hmm. Squirrel, get the squirrel. All right, anything down here? No. Part of me wants to try going through that wasp area again. Oh, where, where am I? Okay. Maybe I can, I mean, not to... Not to fight the wasps, but, you know, maybe to, uh... You know, maybe just to be able to get by them or something. All right, so I'm here. Hmm. So presumably, well, first let's save just in case. They've been pretty good about it, but even so. Hmm. So do they go back to the village then? It also does appear like it's later in the day. All right, we're saving. Is this guy new? No. Can I go through now? No, nope, probably not. What about you? What do you have for me? Hmm, man, I want some of this stuff. I mean, those are the red ones, right? That's what, uh, what's his face needs? That's not the right word. Or button. No, he needs blue. So even if I get red, I don't know who that would be. So I assume that girl is... Our fourth party member, and then the bard is the third. But yeah, all hell's not gonna break loose just yet. The hunting range is north, I believe. Okay, well. The, the, well, the, the problem is, if I even touch one of those wasps, like if I try and just sneak through without touching them, if I do touch one or they touch me, I'm done. I'm straight up hosed, so I won't worry about that just yet. Hunting range. Let's, let's continue on. Maybe we'll grind a little bit. Hmm. Well, Papa said he'd meet me here at the hunting range. I wonder where he could be. Well, I hope nothing bad happened to him. Alright, skills. So, damage 68 to 83. Um, oh. Oh, really? I'm surprised...
Well, I can use it now. Now it's charged up, I suppose. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised that there's a new enemy. That said, I don't mind. It was a little silly, though, that... Uh, Dude, it's awesome. Especially with the criticals. Now if I could put points into... Yeah, I'm gonna, with her, I'm probably going to spread it out. You know? Because... Get more critical hits, and then have them be more effective. But then you also want your, your regular skills to be... strong. Alright, got some coins, got some experience. Yeah, experience is not... Yeah, we need... We both need about 5,000 now. 5,000, let's say we get 300 a piece. You're, you're talking... I don't know. I can't... I can't do math this morning. It's... It's a, a fair amount, though. Blood Forest off limits. This way goes to Silvara. Hmm. There's some more ruins. Let's go into here. Did I go through this? Hmm. Oh, there's like spider webs too. Or there were. Fight. I mean, that's it's pretty good. We're talking like like a hundred, a hundred damage. She is a beast. Although she is she is weak. We're gonna have to. I mean, she will need more defense. That's just the way of it. That's good. Uh, we'll try it. I might be able to kill this one with one hit. Five hundred experience. That's better. All right. Any more goodies? Up. Oh, there's a fish. I need. I need the fish. The fish is the life. That reminds me, I played this game a while back called uh, Intergalactic Fishing. It's not... It, it's very strange. It looks... It's, it's all pixels. It's, uh... I mean, it kind of reminds me of, like, a DOS game from the the 90s or whatever, but, um... It's not bad. It's it's strange. It reminds me more of either an RPG. I'm just wandering around. I'm not... These areas are big, so they're hard to go through in, like, a proper way, but... but it Actually, the intergalactic fishing reminds me of more like a RPG or Monster Hunter. It's very strange, because... There's a lot of, like, grinding, and you have to look for the specific kind of fish that you want, and you have to get, um, you know, you have to do the research, you have to set your, you have to pick a particular kind of lure that, to get the fish that you want, it's, and then you have to fish them and catch them a bunch to get research on them so that you know more about their, their habits and where and when to catch them, and It's, it's kind of a neat little game. I actually would recommend it. Recommend trying it out. Um, 
But it is... Okay. Err, it won't budge. Hmm. There's something in there. Like, the ghost opened another one of those. And, I would say that spirit that we saw, that was watching Lita, she was probably the one that opened the other door to get... Because there was like a relic that we... The ring, right? Oh, we gotta check out the invulnerability. I'm sorry, I'm like all over the place today. My my mind is. Um. Oh, and mm. invulnerability increases defense by five. Hmm. Which would be better? I mean, that's a hard one, because defense by five means, well, realistically, it's probably the defense by five, right? Because it takes five damage off, well, it's only physical damage first, but it reduces damage by five for every physical attack you take, whereas this is just a straight 10 HP, so I, I don't know. Regardless. Hey, buddy. Uh, we'll rapid fire you, and then we'll figure out what's going on. But yeah, intergalactic fishing. It's it's not it's not bad. It, I got kind of tired of it towards the end because it was grindy, and it's not super story heavy. Um, I'm, I'm very much into story, and it... Story was alright. It was it, kind of surprising at some points, like it did some different stuff, but... Not terrible, but not... I mean, it's, it's, it's a unique. It's one of those that... Uh, it's like... I'm trying to fight off a sneeze right now. <laughs> Whoa. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's unique, so. Unique enough that I'd say give it a go. You might not like it, but, you know. That's, that's part of it, right? Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm wandering around. I'm trying to get all the goodies. Let's fight this dude because he was here. I just need to focus on... It's also funny because I never really used that... Um her elven power thing. It's like I'm... Maybe for longer battles, but... Otherwise, it's kind of like you're wasting a turn. Alright, I saw a dude up there. I'm gonna fight him just, just because... Oh, yeah, and her little purple bar at the bottom. Uh, power. Oh, uh, well. Should've done Whirlwind. It's fine. Experience is good. Excellent. Because, I mean, you know, the more of them there are, the more experience and the more coin. Five hundred experience, excellent. 
So presumably her dad's not here. He might have even been kidnapped or something. <coughs> I know. It's terrible, isn't it? It's also weird. It's like she's gotten... Effectively three skill upgrades, right? Because her charge shot got upgraded, and then so did... And then we got two of those other little things, and it's like... What's over here? Well, that's probably where we're going. But yeah, so she's gotten basically three skill upgrades, and he's gotten zero. Before I go in there, though, I want to want to look up here, make sure. Right, we already looked at that. Did we go up there? No, apparently not. Oh, where did that dude come from? That's fine. Okay, there are more areas. Why is this area so big? Coins. Coins, I'll take them. Oh, oh, what's... Okay. Papa, where are you? Hmm, this is harder than I thought it'd be. Alright, well... Can we go to the right? No. Well, the fact that, you know, she said something, maybe that means... Yeah, okay. Alright, we'll fight the fox. I was like, oh, I don't really want to fight it because I'm trying to run around and figure out what we're supposed to do, but... You know, I wonder if I, when I lift myself up, if you guys can hear my back cracking. Probably not, it's... I hear it on the inside. Um, what about over here? No, okay. And then... Oh, see, there's essences, but I can't get there. Because... You need one of those fairy things. All right, well, let's explore the top. Because there's flax. And presumably that's the other side of the ferry ring. Oh, what, what's going on now? Papa, hey! I wonder where he could be. If we split up, we'll find him faster. I'll take a look around. Alright, just shout if you find him, okay? Right. Well, that's no good. Are we expected to leave the screen? It's like windy. And there's a chest. Revival potion, all right. Crystal ore. Hmm.
Oh, hello. What I do want to find out is if we get into combat, which could be dangerous, admittedly. Oh, I can't go up this way? That's strange. Um... Will I get all the experience, or is it split? <coughs> Alright, fish oil. More fish oil. What is that frog standing on right there? More fish oil. What about here? Can I go this way? I can. Okay, what do we have here? Relic compass. This is called a compass and always points north. What a strange invention. Find better loot when diving. Nice. Use teleport. Huh. All right, well, why? <coughs> hmm. Okay, well. Oh. Oh, I see. I was like, oh crap, we're... Seems like there's less enemies, though. Experience 100. So it's probably about the same. It's just dependent upon the number of enemies, and then it's not split or anything. You just get it. That works. Um... Did we go across the bridge right here? I do remember this. Hmm. Saving. Well, that's helpful. Aha! Relic tablet. Elven words have been carved into this, though the surfaced, though the surfaced, has eroded and is no longer legible. All party members plus one power. Nice. Well, there was another door like this somewhere. Probably could have gone around. It is kind of funny, she just like jumps into the water though. Alright. Did I not go over here? Where he could be, he said he'd be here. What's going on? 
Adrian? Papa? Somebody? Somebody help! Ah. Lita, please do not be afraid. You, you're that spirit I saw in the cave. Hush, child, come closer and I will answer all of your questions. All right. Who are you? My name is Asari, an elven spirit and one of the guardians of the six elven artifacts of power. The ring you're wearing is one of them. It's called Dian's Ring, named after an elven hero that time has nearly forgotten. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, you can have it back. I didn't mean to do anything bad. It was just so pretty. Child, you misunderstand. The ring truly belongs to you now, and all the power that comes with it. What do you mean? What power? You've had a taste of it already when you channeled its magic to split an arrow. It is difficult to speak with you in this spirit form, and so I must be brief. My people are dying, child. Cursed by magic of our own invention. Arafel is dying along with us. Soon your people will suffer the same fate as the elves, but there is a way to dispel this magic. Listen to what I say. Take Dean's ring to the airy ruins in Blood Forest. There you will unlock the power to break the curse. I don't understand. What power? Why do I have to do this? The ring is yours now, child. By chance, fate has given this task to you. I can stay no longer. This is the beginning of your journey, Lita. I'll watch over you in it and will lend what strength I can. Go back to your village, child. Do not fear your destiny. Embrace it. Wait, I still don't understand. No, wait. Hmm. Hey, there you are, Lita. I was worried the sun wind blew you off the island. Are you okay? You look like you just saw a ghost. I don't feel so good. I want to go home. Oh, hey, no problem. Here, take my hand. It's getting late. We should head back anyway. Your father probably just got hung up on his way here or something. Updated an elven ghost. So... Where is... Hmm... That strange spirit I saw at the beginning of my adventure has reappeared, this time with a warning. I don't feel so great now. I just want to go back home to Eloria. Target Lita's father. An elven spirit named Asari has tasked me with finding the six uh, elven artifacts of power. Fair enough. Is that what she said, though? She just said you go to the blood forest to get the power to break the curse. Oh, wait, what's this? Iron ore? Neat. Oh, you have to jump, yeah. And there's some cracks right here. Neat. Into the hole. Some stardust. More crystal ore. Ooh. A warrior stone for Adrian. Oh, wait. Let's check out the... Uh, use for upgrading skills. A spirit of a great warrior lives in here waiting to, to, uh, waiting to bestow their power. All right, well... Right, you can't... You cannot upgrade the last stand... Uh huh. MP cost is reduced. Whirlwind. Stronger. Mark. Increases duration by one turn. That would probably be good. Adds five potency. Um.
Honestly, I mean, we use this one the most. Then again, no, I mean, that's not, hmm. I was gonna say you could keep dazing like a boss character, but no, they'd still get their turn. It's just after everyone else. Yeah, we'll do this one, I guess. Well, hmm. Sure. It's a little bit stronger now, that's cool. Is that all? What are we? What's with the iron ore? Uh, crafting metal is hard to find on Arafel. I heard once, or I heard a long time ago, someone even made an entire sword out of metal once. Oh, that makes sense, because he's got like a stone axe, or now it's crystal. But still, yeah. All right. Well, back to the home. Eh, why not? Because we need money. Be nice if we could kill it. Okay, that was a critical hit, though. So, probably he's going to do, like, 120, 110. <sighs> How much? 3,000. <sighs> I can't remember. I remember there were some good ones. There are some good, uh, like, relics. There's the one that added extra hit points. There was... Yeah, I don't remember. Nice. Alright, so... Right, we could give him... More of that. Mm hmm. Mm. Probably this at this point. Because he doesn't really do a lot. I mean, he can taunt, and then he's... Or do we need more? No. Probably defense is the primary stat, then power. But, well, I mean, we'll see once we get the class change stuff. Up here soon. She gets a level up. Um, hmm. Yeah, she probably needs some defense. She's definitely, she's definitely taking hits. You know. All right. Alright, what else? Did I miss anything? I went here already.
And I... Yeah, we went in there. Um... I just want to go home. I don't feel very good right now. That's fair. All right, let's go then. The quarry. Arr! Running around. <laughs> Starway, all right. It'd probably be. Do we just want to teleport? If we could find where the teleport was. Yeah, that's that's kind of the problem. Is like, where was the teleporter? Uh, nope. I mean, honestly, it would probably just be faster to run home at this point. Well, there's still the, the stone. The stone person. Yeah, I don't even know where... Like, it says there is one, but I don't... I don't remember... I mean, it's not in here. We already know this. Adrian, I am, um, uh, I don't know how to say this. It's pretty obvious something's been bothering you, Lita. Tell me what it is. I'll help if I can. You wouldn't believe me. Oh, come on. Try me. Lita sighs. I did see a ghost back there, or something anyway, right after that storm came and went. I saw it in the caves where I found the ring, too. I, uh, really? Yes, yeah, she was beautiful. She said she was an elven spirit and that her people were cursed. Sure, everybody knows that legend. Elves lost a war with the vampires and turned themselves to stone. It is just a legend, though, right? I don't know. She said I had to take this ring to Blood Forest to some ruins she called Array. She said there I'd received the power to break the curse. Oh, you must think I'm crazy. No, no, it's just... Well, assuming you didn't just dream the spirit. She... Did she tell you why... Or tell you why you had to do this? No. It's because you put the ring on. And because if you don't, everyone else is going to die. Why don't we just go home and you get some rest, huh? It's been a long, weird day. We can talk to the Elder about it if you want. Yeah, things will be better in the morning. Let me see if I can get this stupid ring off, though. Urker, I really can't take it off. It's stuck. Whoa, it's glowing. What's going on now? I feel strange. Oh. Hey, Adrian. Hey, are you alright? Wow, did she turn him to stone? Adrian, this isn't funny. Talk to me. Adrian, stop playing. Why are you all gray like that? Talk to me. Wake up. Oh, goddess. What did I do? I have to get help. Oh, that's bad. Solid stone. I wonder if they're even still alive. Oh, man.
What? It's so quiet. Oh, the whole village has turned to stone? That's bad. Oh, the cat's not, though. Or maybe it is. Everyone has turned to stone. The whole village. It's this dumb ring. That's what did it. This awful, horrible ring. <laughs> Grr. Ah! Get off of me! This can't really be happening. Lita. Ah, who? Who's there? Ah, uh, yes. Doran, you're alright. Why aren't you a statue like everybody else? I have my ways. I might ask the same of you, however. What has happened here? Oh, Doran, it's all my fault. I found this ring in a cave and then I put it on. When I did, everyone turned to stone. Lita, could that be Dian's ring you have there? Yes, that's what the spirit lady with pointy ears said. How did you know? That is a simple answer question that is with a complicated answer. A spirit lady said that to you. I know it sounds crazy. Less so than you think. I may know something about what has happened, and about your spirit lady as well. Really? How? This isn't the time for that discussion, I'm afraid. Come, we mustn't linger. I'll invite you to my home, where, where, ah, where we should be safe for the moment. It's at the stone quarry, north of here. Head into the mines and to the back. I'll explain what I can when we arrive. Let's go. Quest updated the stone curse. Huh. Oh yeah, everybody's changed. Oh, Pence. I'll make this right somehow, I promise. At least my cat is okay. Alright, the mom unit's stone as well. Mama, I'm so sorry. Where is the dad, though? We should probably head to the village elder's house. And see. A Doran, a wandering bard, was able to avoid being changed to stone. It says he knows something about what's going on. I should visit his home in the deepest caves of the stone quarry. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we can save for this one. That's fine. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or indifferent, let me hear them. I do read all of them, assuming they're not memory hold. I do try and respond to all of them as well. What is your guys' unique pause moment for today? Uh, for me, it's the fact that I'm off today, which, uh, I mean, it's kind of a bad thing as well, because I'm not going to get paid. But uh, if you ever worked in healthcare, they like to, they kind of run the same management as like retail or fast food, where if they're not making enough money, they just cut your hours. Or they're not making enough profit, I should say. Uh, so, yeah. So, but, whatever. It's, it's fine. Um, I wanted to, you know, play this so it works out. Uh, but that is my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys are just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, guys, take care.